so the goal for this video is to ignore that yeah. I don't have Rex unlocked. The goal for this video is Artificer Mastery to beat it on Monsoon and I'll answer questions while I play. Uh, question one. I heard but didn't look up myself that some are trying to resurrect Evo themselves on PC. I'm not really one to partake in these kinds of leaks or rumors because they could obviously not be true. I hope it works and I hope peeps actually use it because it means I have a chance to get on it. Okay, I might as well talk about it now. If EVO does get remastered, is that the right word? In the future, I'm not sure if I'll make it a focus of my channel again because to be honest, I'd rather do videos about other games that I'm interested in. Uh, what yeah. games might you do in lieu of EVO? And is there a possibility of playing Armored Core? Uh, about Armored Core, I do like Armored Core. I've been trying my best not to be spoiled about any story, any major gameplay aspects of Armored Core, because at this moment can't really play Armored Core. When I do play Armored Core, I'd rather it be on a better PC than what I have now. Uh, next question, where did my wife go? Uh, along with Evo, I guess. Gone. <laughs> wife gone. Jivo, this side 7 that... I'm not sure what side 7 is. Uh, who you maining in Mecha Break? Ooh. It's the funny... What? Uh, sure. There's a lunar pod, I always take it. Because there's, can I, it has potential to be funny. I didn't know what Mecha Break is, so I looked it up, and it's a Mecha sh hero shooter, kind of like Evo, I suppose. But I'm not familiar with who's on the roster, so maybe I can put it. Maybe I can put something as I'm editing it, like maybe here. So, yeah, I don't have an answer right now. Next question: What's my favorite color? It would depend. Usually in things like my clothes, I'd prefer black or white. It's been five minutes and I have no items. I, I like black and white, I like very minimalist color schemes. It's a trash item, I don't like that. For more like other things, I would go with a blue or a green shade. Wow, trash. Alright. Have I ever tried to play Barbatos back when Evo was online? Yes, I have. I think I've tried every every character in Evo. A lot of people think he's overpowered. I don't really think so. Uh, he's annoying to play against, sure, because his time to kill is very low. But there's a lot of counters to him. He makes a lot of noise. He's very slow. He is easily punished because his one engage tool is also his escape tool. So if he doesn't get a kill, he gets punished easily by either you or your teammates. So it's most often just a trade. Oh, uh, I guess I'll just leave. Please be like Vagrant or something. Alright. Uh, I need to wait for my R. Before I burst this person. Yeah, because I get too high here. Okay, my R's up. Give me the kill, please. Okay, that's one. Uh, I know everyone and their grandma's asking this, but what now? Give me a second. Uh, Evo died and now I gotta pivot to another game. What am I thinking? Uh, to be honest, I'm not really sure what my next video is gonna be on, or the next video is plural. Right now I have two videos planned, as I said in my previous one. We can talk about the one coming up, it's gonna be a uh, Rise, MH Rise video. And then the one after that is a surprise. Uh, I, I have to leave. Please land. Yes! Nice gaming. Ooh! Good items. Thank you. 
Uh, what am I? Th so what am I thinking? I'm not sure yet. We'll see, I guess. Can you please rotate me using your turn A? Please, I beg. Uh, sure. Anyways, what are your inspirations when making videos? I usually don't watch meme vids because the ones I stumble on are visual or audio effects overload. And yours seems to hit a sweet spot. Thank you, man. My inspirations for videos are... Well, other creators, I suppose. Um, examples would be Albino, uh, Dumbs, YT, and I'd consider Maxor. But when I watch Maxor videos, I kind of feel uh, <laughs> kind of feel insecure afterwards after I watch his videos because they're just very good. Also, it's nice to know that the way I edit is, uh, as you say, hits a sweet spot because that's definitely something I think about a lot in my editing, so thank you. What is your favorite game pre-Evo shutdown and what is your favorite game now? Wait, and after? Aren't those the same thing? Uh, one favorite game of mine is Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Would I recommend that game? Not really. <laughs> I'd rather people play like a different Monster Hunter game, maybe the later installments. Like World! I'd highly recommend World. Another game I like is also a Monster Hunter game, that would be Monster Hunter Rise. I think those two are my all-time favorite games. Out of all the EVO videos I have done, which is the one you had the most... Which... Gorestone. Which is the one I had most fun making? Either the gun tank video, which is insane to believe that it's still getting numbers after, I think, a year? I'm not sure how long it was since I uploaded the gun tank video. But it's that one and the Sazabi video, that was also very fun. Fuck off. Thank you. Re <laughs> really? Again? Cool. You hear clay boys. Oh, clay boy. I'm, I'm stuck. Uh, I might die. Oh, uh, not yet. Another one, please. Thank you. Oh my god, and they're in the brackets. Uh, that's one. <coughs> Fuck off, man. Stop giving me steak. You've got a stellar editing style and sense of humor, and leaving a comment to say that you should keep pursuing and refining it. Thank you, man. Uh, however, if I had one question worth asking, it would be where my name comes from. Uh, like all good ideas, it, come, it came from the shower. So my name is a combination of uh, degenerate and Asian. That's why it's degeneration. I don't really have an elaborate backstory behind my name. It's kind of just... It sounded funny. Double PSG. Bongos. Uh, what's my favorite part about... I'm dying. What's my favorite part about making videos? The money! No, I'm just... well... Well, that's what I get for saying the money. Well, it's kind of true, I suppose. But also, it's just doing things that other people see and then getting the feedback from it. Like being, wow, what a nice video, and seeing the numbers go up, I guess. Because it shows like I'm doing something well. So I guess it would be the sense of accomplishment. Also, I just like making videos. I think I'm good at editing. I think I'm good at playing games. Yeah, just people telling me I'm good at what I do, getting like com getting comments like these ones. Uh, it makes me feel good. Uh, for me, it's depressing that Evo ended. How did you feel after knowing it had to come to an end? And what are your thoughts as to why it has ended and who is that guy as your profile picture? Wow, okay, that's three questions. I'll answer the last one because it's the easiest. Uh, the person in my profile picture is Cypher from Valorant. 
because he is my favorite character. He's very quirky and I like his voice a lot. Ooh, another lunar pod. Do I like playing him? Uh, that depends. Give me the funny. I'll think about it. How do I feel about Evo ending? Well, it is sad, of course. I really enjoy Evo. The years it had been released, I think it's one of the best. It had been one of the best multiplayer games. I have a confession to make, and I'm kind of somewhat glad that Evo ended. It's kind of mid, but sure. Because uh, the way my channel, the direction my channel was going, I could tell that it would be more towards Evo. And I didn't really like that. As I made more Evo videos, I started to not like it as much as I did before. There are a lot of Lunar Pods. Ooh, I'll take that. That's a funny item. With Evo, it's kind of weird because it has quite a small community in comparison to other games. So the community that... So the people that do play EVO just get better at the game. And if people get better at the game, there's less chances for stupid shit to happen. And less that means less footage for me and I have to play the game more. And at the state that EVO was at, like in the latter stages of its life, there were a lot of connection errors, a lot of just a lot of jankiness that I wasn't a big fan of anymore. And it came to a point where I just didn't enjoy making videos about Evo anymore because I felt like I said a lot of the jokes that can be made already. So it was kind of a blessing, kind of a curse that Evo ended. Of course, I would rather it stayed and I just eventually drifted away from it because I do think it's a good game again and it's a shame that it uh, got discontinued but it means that I can focus more on other games that I enjoy and not get pigeonholed in EVO or just the Gundam franchise as a whole so you know silver lining I guess for me at least would I rather know how humanity goes extinct or when they go extinct? Uh, I'm not sure if knowing how humanity goes extinct would be helpful. I think that's just information that I wouldn't be able to do much with. I'd rather know when they go extinct. When we go extinct, I guess. I, I am a human, yes. So I can mentally prepare for I guess, and just be at a constant state of existential crisis. Existential dread, I mean. Nice. What other games am I planning to make videos on? Again, I have two videos in the works. One is a Rise video, one is... Ooh, leg. One is a surprise. After that, I'm not really sure, I guess. I'll have to see. Key. Uh, will I play Mecha Break even though it's a hero shooter? Like, will, <laughs> will I play GBO2? Uh, do I take that? I don't think so. Uh, the thing about GBO2 is I'm not sure if I want to play GBO2. I get that people ask me because it's also the other Gundam game. I kind of want to distance myself from the Gundam franchise as a whole. I don't really want to be considered the Gundam guy. In fact, I have not watched a single Gundam series. Aside from... Ooh, that's good. Aside from like two Witch of Mercury ep episodes. Right now I'd just rather play other games. Ooh. Oh, uh... Do I take that? Coward, we have a new world to conquer. You know what? It's funny, sure. <laughs> Alright, time to leave. 
That's that's very good. Uh, I'll use it until I lose one of my leg. Maybe five. All right, five is good. I have no health items whatsoever. Oh, should probably fix that. No, my leg. My my leg. leg. Also, I'm dying. Don't mean to. No, my scrap. That was easy. Uh, where was I? Oh, so yeah, Mecha Break. I'm not sure if my computer can run it. Maybe it's gonna be an interesting thing to make videos on. We'll see. What's yeah. my favorite mobile suit or Gundam? Uh, <laughs> I'll be real with you, Chief. I don't know the difference between the two. But my favorite one has to be Turn A, even though I only know him from Evo. I do know that he is technically one of the most powerful uh, Gundam ever. I could be wrong, please correct me in the comments if I am. Also, he's just funny and stupid and he has a cow. So he's he's right up my alley. Also honorable mention for favorite suit is Ariel because uh, put up that picture of uh, Ariel with the thighs. Also I guess no bands for me. I'm not sure if I should take this, that. Artificer is already generally squishy and I don't have healing items and if I do get healing items they're gonna turn into ego. So I might not take that. Call me a pussy all you like, I'm not taking that shit. Do I just leave? All my items are going to turn into Ego anyway. I'm not sure if full looting is still worth it. I don't think this is a Mythrix build. I think I'll just loop. Mm. Nice. Green scrap, guys. Look at that. I got some green scrap. Can you believe it, guys? Uh, what will you do now that Evo is done and what's your favorite meme for the heck of it? Uh, again, I'm not sure what I'll do now that Evo is gone. I'll have to think about it a bit. Uh, my favorite meme, I'll also have to think about it. Leg. Armored Core 6 PvP. Uh, is that a question? I am interested in playing AC. So that is a possibility. Ooh, it took stealth kit. Let's go. Uh, best mobile suit design, I would have to say Sazabi. I think the the language of its design really can emphasize how much of a fortress it is, like how much of an absolute brick shit house Sazabi is, and I like that. Again, this is in Evo context because I am not that familiar with the rest of the Gundam franchise. Uh, am I planning to play stuff like Lethal... <coughs> Excuse me. Like Lethal Company are excited for the FPS Transformers game uh, reactivated. That's gas. That could be pretty good. Actually, I haven't heard of Transformers reactivated. And things like Lethal Company... Unfortunately, as much as I'd like to, I'm not in a position to make videos on games like Lethal Company. I need to get some gas. Alright, my setup is not in my room. In fact, I don't have my own room. My setup is in my living room, where the rest of my family spends like 95% of their time in. That's why my videos don't have my voice in them, because I can't exactly tell them to be quiet when I'm recording. It's just one of those games like Among Us or uh, something like Fall Guys that just is goes completely insane. Ooh, coin. I'm pretty sure there will be other games that would reach that kind of stardom. And then I can capitalize on those once I 
Once I'm able to, once I get a better setup, once I maybe graduate college and I have more time. So uh, I just have to be patient, I guess. Can't really do anything about it. Is that good? Oh, it's meteorite. I thought it was the mouse one. That's good, though. That is very good, though. Another band? Yes, please. I am poor. Hold on. This run's actually going way better than I thought it would. Oh, I got a red, though. God damn. That's... Uh, no. It's a red. Yeah, it's one of the reds of all time. Surely. Please, give me ban. Please. Oh. I think I just... God, this eco keeps taking my speed items. It sucks. Give me like seven legs or something. Oh! We won the run. Okay. We win. Unless it gets turned into ego, then we're... Uh, we can still win the game, I guess. No, oh, why'd you TP? Peep this shit. Eat. I missed. Nice. Peep this one. They TP'd away. Nice. Could just use this. And... easy. Your video edits are an absolute blast and would work in just about any game. Any games piqued my interest lately? Um, now that I'm hearing about it, maybe Mecha Break. One game that has interested me recently is... Uh, I might... I don't think I'll make a video on this because of just the nature of its game, but it's called uh, Intravenous 2. It's not out yet, but I played the demo Mercenarism. That is not a real word, by the way. I, I don't think. It's this stealth game that's kind of like Hotline Miami, but more s stealth. Well, you can play it like noisily, but there's more emphasis on stealth, and and I'm a sucker for stealth games. Like, I like uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist a lot, and the earlier Assassin's Creed games. So I am eagerly waiting for its release. Because I think it's a cool game, and I had fun with the demo. Do I play Tekken? Only... I do play Tekken, but only when it's there. I don't really go out of my way to play Tekken. But if... <laughs> me, when the function has Tekken. Uh, if someone asked me to play a Tekken, yeah, I'd play. I main King, because he's the only character I know how to play. And he is funny wrestler Jaguar man. I do want to play 8, but I don't have a PS5 to play it on, and I'm not sure if my PC can run it, because it even struggles to run Risk of Rain at this point. No! My Tesla! Oh, that's good though. <laughs> that instantly makes up for it. Uh, this Ocular HUD... Will Ego proc Ocular HUD? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out, huh? Uh. It can, okay. That's good. Uh, how come management can recklessly change trends and fail predictably, but never be held accountable and the developers are always getting fired? Um, not sure how to answer that question. Uh, I do know that management does... No, my desk plant does make these weird decisions, and it's mostly driven by profits. Uh, they, these people have to run their companies... Hold on. <laughs> I, I... I'm losing my train of thought. Give me a second. Okay, I can, I can talk now. Shit. You have to think about it like they have to run the company based off profits. They are a for-profit company at the end of the day. So they have to think about uh, a way that would make them the most profit while incurring the least risk. Yeah, it sucks. But you have to think about it like they're a company and they have to pay employees and they have families to feed and they have, they have a business to run. 
I'm not saying it's a good thing to have happen, but it's an easy thing to point fingers, but there's probably more things that go behind the scenes that we're just not sure of. Will you keep making Gundam content? Uh, I will not keep making Gundam content. I will keep making content that I enjoy, and if that so happens to be Gundam related, then yeah. But will I play something just because it has connections to the Gundam franchise? Not really. If it's fun, I'll play it. If it's video worthy, I'll make a video on it. Uh, yeah, that's how I want my channel to go moving forward. Will you ever do Fortnite content? With Fortnite being such a saturated uh, content space, I think I'm... I would say I'm too late to the party when it comes to making Fortnite content, unfortunately. Also, I've never played Fortnite ever in my life. Uh, what if the ass got hard too? Very true. Very, one of the questions of all time, indeed. Do I pay taxes? Is This is a very... This is very important, so think carefully. Uh, I refuse to talk to feds. I'm sorry about that. Jail! If you were to add both a regular mobile suit and a Gundam, what... who would they be? Uh, I have a confession to make. I do not know the difference between the two of them. Maybe I'll do some research in post, put them on screen. And have you ever heard of Warframe? Yes, I have. I've been playing it for a while. I've been on and off Warframe right now. I'm off Warframe. I think I've, I haven't played Warframe in like a couple years. The oh. no way. Oh, okay. I guess it's the last two questions anyway. So you just can look at the defeat screen. Got killed by hermit crabs. Fuck. Oh. Uh, Ermos has played it before and he can testify. Yes! Air Warframe is a very fun game, if not a bit grindy at times. I've played it since... Uh, whatever update Nova came out. I think that's update 9, I think it's before Necros. And the last question. Watch Gundam Build Fighters. It's not really a question. There's a lot of great waifus in that anime. The thing about anime is, while I do like anime, I don't really... I'm still getting, like, airstrike by these goddamn hermit crabs. I don't really watch a lot of anime anymore. I do like anime, but I have this thing in my brain where it's just... I think I'd rather be doing something else. In fact, I'll give you my top three. I'll also give you my top three manga recommendations, because I think I read more manga than I watch anime. So, in no particular order, it is uh, Love is War, uh, One Punch Man Season 2, and there's another one, I forgot. Oh, uh, Cyberpunk Edgerunners. And my three favorite manga, in also no order, would be My Dress Up Darling. <laughs> I know, it, it may be out of character, or maybe in character, considering my name. It has the word DGEN in it. I prefer more romance manga than the traditional action shonen. So yeah, Dress Up Darling, uh, Blue Box, and Sakamoto Days, which I only recently picked up. And it's it's so good. I would recommend Sakamoto Days to uh, like anybody. Yeah, that's all the questions. I hope I answered all of them. I think I did. And I guess I couldn't get Artificer to mastery, unfortunately. So thank you for the questions, and I'll hope to see you in my next video. Uh, see ya.